Three men who were completely paralyzed in motorbike accidents are walking, cycling, and even swimming again in Switzerland. In a delicate surgical procedure. It's thanks to an implanted nerve stimulation device that's controlled remotely with a touchscreen tablet using artificial intelligence. In the future, people with spinal cord injuries could use this technology by opening their smartphone and selecting an activity such as walk or sit. At the very beginning, it's not super easy, but they can activate immediately their legs and, and step. This study was led by Grégoire Courtine and Jocelyn Bloch of the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. Within one hour of neurosurgeons implanting prototypes of the nerve stimulation device, three men were able to take their first steps. Over the course of six months, they learnt more complex movements. Electrical signals enter the spine from the sides, allowing very specific targeting and activation of spinal cord regions. AI algorithms instruct electrodes on the device to emit signals to stimulate individual nerves that control the trunk and leg muscles needed for various activities, such as getting up from a chair, sitting down and walking. The software is tailored to each patient's anatomy. To target the specific spots, you need to understand where they are. We modelize the spinal cords and we understand exactly where the anatomy of these different spots are and uh, then we design uh, the, the stimulation following the anatomy of each person. I mean that it is a very personalized stimulation program. Mm -hmm. Bloch and Cortine helped establish a Netherlands-based technology company called Onward Medical that's working to commercialize the system. The company expects to launch a trial in about a year involving 70 to 100 patients, primarily in the US. If this study's early results are confirmed on a larger scale, researchers say paralyzed people might be able to use their smartphones or smartwatches to move their legs again.